Happy President's Day! Not sure if that's exactly how you're supposed to greet people on February 20th this year, but if you're off school or work for President's Day, you're probably pretty happy about it. While we're on this topic, what President's Birthdays does President's Day commemorate? Washington and Jefferson, Adams and Lincoln, Taft and Roosevelt, or Washington and Lincoln? If you said Washington and Lincoln, you've set a precedent for knowing your presidents. George Washington's birthday was on February 11th, 1731. Abraham Lincoln was born on February 12th, 1809, so mid-February was the natural time to celebrate them. In 1968, Congress moved a number of federal holidays to Mondays. This would give federal workers a three-day weekend, and what we now know as President's Day was one of these occasions. It was set as the third Monday in February. What's harder to figure out is how to punctuate this holiday. Is it President's Day, President's Day, President's Day, or a day for killing the apostrophe? There's really no official way to do this. One might use it while another issues it. One might choose it while another will lose it. Part of the reason for this also lies with the federal government. It doesn't call this event President's Day at all. It still recognizes it as Washington's birthday, with the apostrophe. After all, there is only one number one. So when it comes to President's Day, you're apostrophe-free to punctually make your president in print however you think it's grammarited, and that punctuates my latest report for sunlight. I'm Carl Azus.